I got kicked out of kindergartens with tougher playgrounds than this. Good to macho, Tunneret. Now do it! Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Rob and we're back at Destro's desk and today we've got a good one. We've got old Nicky Lee himself, otherwise known as Tunnel Rat. Well, I was very happy to get my hands on old Tunnel Rats uh, recently, so I, uh, I'm looking forward to bringing this unboxing and review to you guys. I hope you enjoy it. So this box, uh, again we got the uh, new style G.I. Joe classified box, uh, plastic free. On the front there, we got the uh, beautiful picture of Tunnel Rat as a figure, standing on some what looks to be train tracks, and I see a, a bell over here. Uh, this looks like it's on a tunnel underground, just like uh, where our fearless Joe character loves to be, and that's in the tunnels. And then on this side, we've got the uh, wonderful art piece of Tunnel Rat. Looks really good. Very nice drawing of, uh, of Tunnel Rat there. We've got the... Uh, Accessories, weapons that come with Tunnel Rat showing up on the top here. Again, G.I. Joe Classified, Tunnel Rat by Hasbro. He is uh, number 83 in the series. There's the QR code for you to scan for more information. And on the back, we've got uh, Tunnel Rat standing at six inches tall. We got some of the accessories shown here. We got a uh, hip bag that he's got. Down here, he's also got his own uh, patch on his outfit. It says Tunnel Rat there. And again, we have the picture of all the accessories, weapons, and Tunnel Rat. Looking really good. Like really looking forward to getting this guy out of the box. This, uh, this is gonna be a good one. And last but not least, again, we have that art piece on the side. Really good depiction there of Tunnel Rat. Looks great. And again, he is uh, number 83 in the series. All right, we'll get this bottom flap opened up here on the box. Make sure we got the right figure in here. And that looks like Tunnel Rat. Very nice. And we have the old weapons case. Again, we have the uh, G.I. Joe logo on there. He is number 83. And we see Tunnel Rat right there. Inside we've got, we've got our tissue paper bag of the weapons and accessories. See what we get with this guy. There's some little pieces in there, so let's make sure we get them all out of that bag. All right, and we'll see what we got. All right, we get all the weapons laid out there, and uh, let's get Tunnel Rat out of his cardboard coffin. And just before we take a look at these weapons, accessories, and Tunnel Rat, I just wanted to uh, show you guys the old uh, card art and the uh, G.I. Joe, a real American hero, 80s uh, figure. This is what the card looks like, and we also have the file card that gives a little bit of a backstory to, uh, to Tunnel Rat. Well, right out of the box, I must say, this figure looks uh, really good. Let's take a look at the uh, weapons that comes with Tunnel Rat. So we have here, we have a backpack. This is a uh, pretty large backpack for somebody that's gonna be uh, climbing around in the tunnels. But uh, it's been molded in a, uh, a light brown plastic. There is some paint apps here on these uh, two buckles. Looks like there's a bit of gray on there. Just a large pouch in the back, two pouches on the side. Um, and then we have this extra one that uh, also sits on the the middle of the back of it but uh, definitely lots can go in there that is a large backpack so hopefully that doesn't uh, affect standing or the balance of the figure but we'll see shortly and then we've got look at this machine gun what a beauty this one is here so we have a machine gun we've got the uh, the uh, stand on the front that uh, can move uh, this looks like it could be, uh, be good for accuracy we've got a scope on the a large scope on the top I like that uh, we got a couple paint apps on here we've got some paint uh, on the back handle of the of the gun we've got a uh, same color uh, underneath here uh, as a grip spot holding the, for him holding the gun very nice also well, there is a uh, this piece here which is the uh, the bullet holder so that will attach to the gun. Just, uh, got some silver bullets there sticking out so that would fit uh, just under here. 
so it looks like there's uh, the bullets are going in through the gun, so that looks really neat. Uh, his other gun is this uh, really cool looking revolver. Don't normally see uh, guns like this with uh, G.I. Joe characters. This is a great looking revolver. Uh, looks like it's molded in black plastic and it's got this uh, light brown handle that uh, usually you see guns like this quite often with that brown handle so that's looking good there we have got his uh his knife same type of knife we've, we've seen before it's uh molded black plastic on the handle metallic silver paint job on the uh the blade of the knife so nice little knife there for old tunnel rat and then we have got this awesome looking headpiece uh for his night vision goggles i'm assuming this is uh night vision for when he's down in those tunnels so there's Four, uh, four ports on there for for viewing so i'm sure uh, i'm sure these are pretty high tech and uh, does quite a bit but uh but yeah that's his night vision headset right there so that'll fit on his head nicely hopefully and then we have these two flashlights crawling around in those tunnels gonna need uh some extra some extra light so we've got these two flashlights which i believe will uh sit on top of his backpack so those are shining forward when he's when he's in the tunnels and last but not least we have this side bag satchel it's got some more goodies he holds in there not sure what it would be he would hold in there but uh i'm not gonna call this a purse that's definitely uh or is it a man purse is it a merce could be there we go it's got the uh the strap on the bag there is actually uh really pliable uh plastic lots of movement on that so that'll fit around him pretty good and there is actually a lot going on with this figure let's uh let's get into it so we've got a couple uh pieces that are uh on the outside of his body here these are not molded on the body these are loose and these can come off so we've got a uh, really nice looking bullet belt there going over his shoulder and around his, around his side so that is not connected at all that is uh that is on there loose can move around uh we've got this gun his gun holster again this is loose we can get that off if need be but uh so that'll be for his gun and we also have a scarf he's got this uh gray colored scarf that's going around his neck and then we're looking at his head sculpt so the head sculpt on tunnel rat looks really good i think um we got those uh paint marks on his face for his uh for his camouflage so that looks good he's got a uh, bandana on over his hair so that uh, night vision goggles piece that should fit on there nice nice and smooth on top uh, great looking uh, face sculpt eyes are looking really good good uh, paint job there I think that's a, that's a really good looking uh, head sculpt nothing out of proportion paint apps look good the paint apps on the hair look really well done there's no marks anywhere that I can see so we got a great looking head sculpt there um, moving down he's got this uh, light olive uh green looks like a long sleeve shirt that's uh sleeves are all rolled up exposing his uh elbows and forearms where you can see he's got more of that uh the black paint work there on the uh left shoulder we've got that tunnel rat logo a rat holding the flashlight and it says tunnel rat on there so that's pretty neat uh nothing on the other side uh going down we have uh gray pants he is wearing a belt that uh, is molded in uh, it's got a metallic silver uh, paint application there uh, on the belt buckle so that's uh, so that's nice added touch there um, like I said gray pants he's got the uh, gray knee pads on there and I'm actually seeing uh, there is a chunk of paint missing from right there and I don't think that's supposed to be like that on the figure I think that's uh, that's a quality issue there that's a bit unfortunate why that uh, would be like that but uh, oh well um, gray pants as far as boots um looks like the pant legs come down over the top of the boots um i don't think he'd be wearing shoes so we see the piece here on the brown piece on the side uh there's no paint apps on the on the boots just molded in that uh in that brown color and we see that brown color again on his uh, pouches that he's got on his on his uh thighs um strapped around his leg we got uh, a couple pouches on the uh, his right side there and on the other side same style pouches with also it has the uh, knife sheath there for that uh, for that blade that he comes with so should be able to carry all his weapons no problem so that's about it for uh for the first look but yeah right out of the box he's a great looking figure all right let's have a quick look at uh, tunnel rat's articulation i'm not going to spend too much time on it but uh pretty sure just be the the usual that we've seen for articulation so the uh the head moves nicely left and right up and down it does not up and down pretty well shoulders can extend an arm up all the way so there's no nothing there blocking uh, blocking that um, we have the bicep twist on both arms which actually is cool how they did that where they have the uh, the sleeve rolled up 
and it kind of works in with that that twist so you pretty much don't even see that twist line on there it just looks like it's uh rolled up sleeves so that's cool uh we got the pinless double jointed elbows we've got movement on the wrist um both arms are the same we've got an ab crunch which uh moves quite freely so there's that we got a waist twist on there thigh thigh cut there which is uh hidden behind the pouches and the knife sheath that he's got on his legs so there is that twist up there but again you don't really see it so that's awesome uh knees he's got these knee pads on and actually these knees is probably the freest but not loose knees i've ever moved with these figures uh, actually because this top part never never moves and they they are fairly tight but they're but there's uh good movement there so so that's really good that's different i don't think i've seen that on a figure that uh those moves moving that well that's awesome um we've got the uh the ankle cut his feet can um, go up and down left and right and twist around there and that's about it for articulation very good articulation very good movement on this guy very nice to see all right so we can put this uh this bag his hip bag i guess that's okay i don't know if we really want it over the bullets but that's there's the bag on there we've got his uh his handgun which actually looks just the way it kind of sticks out of the out of the holster there that looks uh that looks really cool i really like the way that sits on there that's awesome um we got the knife Knife sheath there. Let's get that backpack on him. All right, so the backpack seems to uh, peg in there pretty well. Seems to want to stay on, so that's a good sign. And we will get those flashlights that will sit right up here. Tight fit, but uh, they do fit in there well. Okay, and we've got that headpiece. There's night vision goggles. There are eye, eye piece there where it uh, goes over his eyes, so you know pretty much right where to put it, just like that. Great looking figure, Hasbro. I'm really enjoying this guy already. All right, and then we've got that giant machine gun, that trigger finger in there. All right, we got that uh, gun in his hand. That took a little bit of work, actually. The uh, trigger finger there just didn't want to seem to get in, but uh, we got her in there now. This uh, tunnel rat figure, it looks fantastic. Definitely pick this one up if you're, uh, if you're wondering if you should get him or not. This is definitely one to pick up. This is a great looking figure. I love this one. I really do. All right, guys. So there you go. There is Tunnel Rat out of the box reviewed. Like I said, a great looking figure. Definitely pick this one up. I think they're uh, getting better with uh, pretty much every figure they bring out. But uh, so far, this guy doesn't look like it has too many issues. Paint looks good. Lots going on with this guy. Well done, Hasbro. Well done. Very happy to have this guy in the collection. All right, guys. So uh, thanks for checking out my video. Remember, if you uh, if you haven't subbed yet, please hit that sub button and subscribe to my channel. It uh, helps the channel grow and helps me uh, bring more of these figures, unboxing and reviews to you guys. I really enjoy doing it. Um, don't forget to hit that like button if you like the video and please hit that bell so you know exactly when my next video will be uploaded and ready for you to watch. We'll put this guy in a pose or two, give him a spin, and uh, I just want to thank you guys again. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for, for all subscribers that have subbed uh, to my channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.